Hey guys, I'm Rob. Would you like to make your own hummus, but you never have done it at home? Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite recipes. And I can promise that it's super, super easy. Just a quick note here, I always loved hummus. But when I met Chef Danny from Syria and tried his own original recipe, it was a game changer for me. I mean, his hummus was so smooth and delicious. Right. So we'll do hummus today? Yes, let's do hummus. Okay, let's do hummus. <laughs> Eventually, he teach me some tips and tricks, and I will include them in this recipe. So let's make this hummus from scratch. We start by collecting the chickpeas from the garden. I understand that's not easy to grow your food, but you can always find organic chickpeas in your local market and cook them from scratch. It's a bit time consuming, but if you can use this instead of canned chickpeas, you will appreciate the taste much better. We start by soaking the chickpeas in cold water from the previous night and letting them to duplicate in volume. Rinse and wash the chickpeas, place them to boil and add some baking soda. This will help to create a more alkaline environment and will help to soften the chickpeas for a smoother hummus. Cook it for about an hour until they become very soft. One of the secrets for a smoother hummus is to mash the chickpeas straight after boiling, while they're still hot. This will make the blending process so much easier. The chickpeas, when you boil, you yeah. blend like this, straight away, this yeah? way, straight okay. away, when the chickpeas very hot or so over, to get very, very creamy. Now that we have the chickpeas puree, let's make the hummus itself. Squeeze one lemon and add the juice to the blender together with 3 spoons of tahini. You can buy it at the store or you can make your own at home. It's super easy to do and you can check out the recipe right here. If you like, you can add a small chopped clove of garlic for extra flavor. Blend it until it turns white and creamy. Add the chickpeas puree and a few ice cubes. If you don't have ice, just add cold water. The only reason is to avoid the blender to warm up. Add some olive oil. Season it with salt and spices to taste. I like to add half of a teaspoon of ground hummus, but this is optional. Check out the hummus thickness and add a little bit of cold water until you get the perfect consistency. It's ready. Let's check it out. Look at that! Mmm! So good! I miss this hummus so much! Our hummus is ready! Serve it in a plate, sprinkle with paprika and parsley and add some good quality olive oil. You can garnish it with bread or your favorite vegetable crudite or just spread it on toast or make a sandwich with it. And that's it guys, I hope you'll try this recipe at home and please let me know your results in the comment section. Um, if you have any question, please ask me, I'll be more than happy to help you with. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to watch more plant-based recipe videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.